Data visualization encompasses all aspects of the visual representation of data. In today's world, we are dealing with huge sets of data where there is a need of visualization for sure. In such a scenario, tools become prominent to aid people in understanding the significance of data through visual aids like patterns, trends, dashboards, and charts. Hi all, I welcome you to this session. And today we are going to list the top 10 most popular data visualization tools in the year 2020. But before we begin, let's look at our agenda for today. So first of all, we're going to talk about data visualization as a concept, as in what it means to visualize data, what are the different parts of data visualization, the components which form data visualization, and why do we need it? Next, we're going to talk a little bit about data visualization tools, the purpose that they serve, and what is it that all the best data visualization tools have in common. It will also give you a fair idea of how we've come up with our list. We're going to talk about the different areas in which we are judging these tools. Then finally, we are going to enlist the top 10 visualization tools according to us for the year 2020. Here we are going to be talking about the pros and cons of said tool along with the open source availability and pricing of the tool. So with that, we come to the end of our agenda. So without much ado, let's get started. So what is data visualization? In definitive terms, data visualization combines scientific visualization, information visualization, and visual analytics to encompass designing and analysis of the visual representation of data. It is basically a technique or a set of techniques of communicating information through a graphical or a visual medium. Now understand that consuming large sets of data isn't always a straightforward method. Sometimes these data sets are so large and so unstructured that it's downright impossible to discern anything useful from them. And this is where data visualization techniques come in. You have thousands of different entries all of different formats and you have to create one visualization from scratch. Sure, it's possible, but definitely not simple. So generalized data visualization involves different disciplines such as information technology, natural sciences, statistical analysis, graphics interaction, and geographic information. But three in particular that I want to talk about is scientific visualization, information visualization, and visual analytics, which are the three main disciplines which contribute to data visualization. So scientific visualization is basically an interdisciplinary research and application field in science. It focuses on visualization of three-dimensional phenomena such as architecture, meteorology, medicine, or biological systems. Its purpose is to graphically illustrate scientific data, which in turn enables scientists to understand, explain, and collect patterns from data. Then we have information visualization, which is the study of interactive visual representations of abstract data to enhance human cognition. Abstract data includes both digital and non-digital data such as geographic information and text. Graphics such as histograms, trend graphs, flowcharts, and tree diagrams all belong to information visualization and the design of these graphics transforms abstract concepts into visual information. And finally, you have visual analytics. This is a new field that has evolved with the development of scientific visualization and information visualization. This has an emphasis on analytical reasoning through interactive visual interface. Basically, this is what aids your drill down processes in any data visualization platform. Now I want to discuss for a little bit why do we need data visualization. Now the amount of information that humans gain through vision is far beyond that of other sensory organs. Data visualization is the use of your human natural skills to enhance data processing and organization efficiency. So visualization can basically help us deal with more complex information and enhance its place in our memory. Now, most people do not know much about statistical data and basic statistical methods are not in line with human cognitive nature. One of the more famous examples is the Anscombe Quartet. It is difficult to see the law according to the statistical methods, but the rules are immediately cleared when this data is visualized. And technically, the simplest understanding of data visualization is actually mapping 
straight from data space to your graphic space. A classic visual implementation procedure is to process and filter the data, transform it into an expressible visual form, and then render it to a user visible view. And that's where data visualization tools come in. Data visualization tools provide you with an easier way to create visual representations of enormous data sets. When dealing with data sets that include hundreds of thousands of millions of data points, automating the process of creating a visualization, at least in part, makes your job significantly easier. These data visualizations can then be used for a variety of purposes such as dashboards, annual reports, sales and marketing materials, investor slide decks and virtually anywhere else information needs to be interpreted immediately. Now, what do the best data visualization tools have in common? Now, the best data visualization tools on the market have a couple things in common. First is their ease of use. There are some incredibly complicated apps available for visualizing data. Some have excellent documentations and tutorials and are designed in ways that feel intuitive to the user. Others are lacking in those areas, eliminating them from the list of best tools regardless of their other capabilities. The best tools can also handle huge sets of data. In fact, the very best can even handle multiple sets of data in a single visualization. These tools can also output an array of different charts, graphs, and map types. Most of the tools that I have enlisted here can output both images and interactive graphs. There are exceptions to the variety of output criteria though. Some data visualization tools focus on a specific type of chart or map and do it exceedingly well. Those tools also have a place among the best tools out here. Finally, there are cost considerations, of course. While a higher price tag doesn't necessarily disqualify a tool, the higher price tag has to be justified in terms of better support, better features, and overall value. Now, there are dozens, if not hundreds, of applications, tools, and scripts available to create visualizations of large data sets. Many are very basic and have a lot of overlapping features as well. But there are standouts that either have more capability for the types of visualizations they can create or significantly easier to use than other tools that are listed here. Now, when I say tools, I mean applications and software platforms, and I'm not going to be including libraries. We're going to keep that for another session. So let's go ahead with our list. At number 10, we have Infogram. Now, this is a web based data visualization and infographics tool which permits users to create and share digital charts, infographics, and maps. It has an intuitive editor known as What You See is What You Get, which transforms your data into shareable infographics. Now, a couple of pros that stand out are that you need absolutely no coding skills to use this tool. It is available in a free version. It allows you to connect your visualizations to live and public data sources, as well as gives you a choice of over 35 types of charts and 200 different types of maps. That's impressive, isn't it? Apart from that, it is also a great platform if you want to handle complex data. However, there are a couple of pitfalls here, mostly pertaining to the free version of this tool. Firstly, the free version mandates you to include the Infogram logo in your designs as well as lacks the rich text editing feature. Also, I feel that it lacks in a few data integration features when compared to others on this list. Now, the basic version of this tool comes free of cost and pro versions cost around $19 a month. The business version will cost you $67 and the team version is priced at $149. For the enterprise version, you can customize it by contacting the vendor. Also, both free and licensed versions are available in this tool. At number nine, we have Sysense. Now, this provides instant insights for anyone and anywhere in your organization. It allows you to create visual dashboards and reports to state any piece of data, uncover underlying trends and patterns to make data driven decisions. Now, certain pros of having Sysense is that it has an extremely user friendly interface while also providing great analysis performance on larger data sets. Along with that, it has excellent support, easy upgrades, and integrates extremely well with different data sources. This product is very flexible and allows for easy customization. Its cons include difficulty to maintain and develop analytic cubes, and also if a cube is rebuilt, it is required to become inaccessible during that period. 
It also does not have any inbuilt data type to support the time format and has limited type of visualization. Now, pricing is not disclosed by Sysense. However, it offers a no surprise pricing package where the cost is determined on a case by case basis depending upon the data size and number of users. It also has a free trial available. At number eight, we have Find Report. Now, this is an enterprise level web programming tool written in pure Java. It combines data visualization as well as data entry and is designed based on a no code development concept. With Find Report, users can make complex reports and cool dashboards and build a decision making platform with simple drag and drop operations. It also is one of the connoisseurs of this sort of easy UI. Now, Find Report can be directly connected to all sorts of databases and it is convenient and quick to customize various complex reports and dashboards. The interface is similar to that of Excel and it provides 19 categories and over 50 styles of self developed HTML5 charts. It also gives you these really fun 3D and dynamic effects to go with it. And the most important thing is that its personal version is completely free. However, it is only a sample and does not allow intuitive use and will also leave you wanting to learn more about using advanced tools such as incorporating JS and Java, which in case if you do not know much about Java will be difficult for you to use. At number seven, we have Google Charts. Now this is a very powerful, easy to use and interactive data visualization tool for browsers and mobile devices. It has a rich gallery of charts and allows you to get it customized as per your needs. Now the rendering of these charts are based on the HTML5 SVG technology and it provides you with pros such as its simplicity to learn, user friendliness, its speed and accuracy, great interactivity, three years of backwards compatibility as well as cross browser compatibility and cross platform portability with any additional plugins and all of this completely free. Apart from that, it supports iPhone, iPad and Android and can read from multiple data sources, including Excel, SQL databases, CSV, Google spreadsheets, so on and so forth. This tool is completely free, but comes with its own set of pitfalls, which include a mandatory network connection while using the tool, the absence of demos on advanced features, along with a lack of sophisticated statistical processing. Working with API for complex presentations is also sometimes difficult to learn. Next we have Grafana. Now this is an open source visualization software that lets users create dynamic dashboards and other forms of reports. It supports mixed data sources, annotations and customizable alert functions. It can also be extended via hundreds of available plugins and that makes it one of the most powerful visualization tools out there. You have export functions which allow designers to share snapshots of dashboards as well as invite other users to collaborate. Grafana supports over 50 data sources via plugins. It's completely free to download and there's a cloud hosted version for $49 a month. There's also a very limited free hosted version. Now if you have a downloadable version, there are support plans available, something a lot of other open source tools don't offer. But then again, it definitely is an overkill for creating simple visualization does not offer as many visual customization options as some of its competitors and is not the best option for creating visualization images. And the final con would be its inability to embed dashboards in websites, though it is possible for individual panels and hence it is not higher on our list. Having said that, Grafana is one of the best options for creating dashboards for internal use, especially if you're using mixed or larger uncategorized data sources. At number five, we have Dundas. Now this is a very old and popular data visualization tool and has definitely stood the test of time and for good reason. It offers super interactive visualizations which aid the users to understand data faster and better. Its other visualization features include rich scorecards, smart tables, numerous chart types, gauges, maps, data labels, sparkline indicators, diagrams, and relationships. This tool is grounded on responsive HTML5 web tech, 
which allows the users to connect, interact, and analyze their data on any device from anywhere. Apart from that, it has great ETL capabilities while allowing us to write direct SQL against data sources that we choose. It has amazing flexibility in design and comes with really good support. And let's not forget its amazing library of visualizations. The cons of Dundas are few, which is why it is so high up on our list. It does not offer predictive analysis, which most newer data visualization tools do. And it also lacks support on 3D charts. Apart from that, it follows a one-time license and subscription-based pricing model, but has a free trial available. However, Dundas BI pricing and details are based on a flexible licensing model that adapts to your needs and that of your business, which is why it is not disclosed by the vendor. At number four, we have Adaptive Insights. Specifically being designed for business users, the Adaptive Discovery tool Adaptive Insights allows focusing on your analysis and decision making on what is important to you. With interactive drill down and visual storytelling, you can identify the root causes, answer questions on the fly, and spot trends to address the issues ahead of the curve. It gives you a complete perspective that you shall need to drive for financial, sales, and operational performances. It also allows you to model, plan, and forecast to make better business decisions. Some of the things we like about Adaptive Discovery is the ability to connect to any data source, be it ERP, CRM, or HCM. It has personalized dashboards, modular metrics, as well as shared metrics. And the information is at your fingertips from anywhere with analytics delivered completely on the cloud. While this tool equips you with out-of-the-box planning, budgeting, and forecasting processes, sometimes the responsiveness is extremely slow due to the use of Java. Initially, it is a bit difficult to learn this tool, mainly because of setting up your reports. But once you get the hang of it, you should be fine. Apart from that, it's actually pretty difficult to modify reports without creating a new one on this tool, and the overall reporting functionality, in our opinion, could be improved. Like many others on this list, you need to contact the company for pricing details. It has a subscription-based pricing model, and the price will be determined by the number of instances that you want to opt for. The tool is available in two editions, which is the Adaptive Discovery Professional and the Enterprise version. Now, though it is a licensed tool, it does have a free trial version available. With that, we've come to our top three tools. At number three, we have Microsoft Power BI. Now, this is one of the more commonly used BI tools, which allows you to connect to a wide variety of data sources, design customized dashboards and detailed reports, and supports both mobile and web-based analytics. It has pros such as being cloud-based, giving a single view of the dashboard, its affordability, and since it's a Microsoft tool, it has a very strong brand integration with other MS tools. A lot of documentation about this tool is also freely available online, along with a big and active community helping you resolve your doubts. A wide variety of charting options for data visualizations are available with consistent upgrades and an extensive database connectivity, which hopefully will cover up for how difficult it is to learn and its inability to handle bulk data. You shall sometimes face a certain lag when you are using huge volumes of data sets. Also, the cloud version does not have all the features available in the Windows version. But the good news is that it is available in both free and pro versions and has two enterprise pricing plans. The first one is totally free with one GB data storage limit and the second plan, which is the pro plan, costs less than $10 per user per month, which also has its own data storage limit of 10 GB. At number two, we have Watergraph. Now this tool is different from the others and provides marketing agencies with an easy way of reporting marketing campaign data to their clients. This platform creates visual data that is easy to comprehend, no matter who your reporting results to. Certain features include its seamless integration with over 40 of the top digital marketing platforms such as Google Analytics, Facebook Ads, and MailChimp. 
It has endless customization options and you can have your pick from virtually hundreds of different pre-made reporting widgets or create your own methods of presenting data. Now on this tool cross-platform data analysis is extremely simple and it gives you a great way to compare different marketing platforms and their performance in one report. Automated report creation and delivery is also brilliant when you use this service. And when managing a variety of clients, automation features can help process and deliver data to the right clients with minimal input on your behalf. Along with this, it comes with something known as white label reports, which helps you customize the report the way you see fit. Add your own images or logo and let your branding shine through with each report you create. Watergraph is a feature rich marketing data reporting platform for agencies to use. It makes easy work of managing multiple clients while aiding you with a plethora of integrations and automation functionality. Not just that, the Watergraph pricing differs based on the features you want to use. There is no need to overpay for the features that you are never going to use. The only con that we see here is the lack of versatility. It is more of something that marketing agencies would use for marketing campaigns and less of everything else, which is why it's not on the top of our list. But then what is? Finally, at number one, we have Tableau. Now Tableau is a business intelligence service that aids people in visualizing as well as understanding their data. It's also one of those very widely used services in the field of business intelligence, which allows you to design interactive reports, dashboards and worksheets to obtain business visions. It has outstanding visualization capabilities and has a great performance despite the size of data sets. It is easy to use and comes with a healthy community and forum and offers great connectivity to multiple data sources. It is mobile friendly. It has powerful computation and quick insights, but it comes at a price of $70 per user per month build annually. You have no option for scheduling and auto refreshing of reports and it has restrictive visual imports. Static parameters need to be updated manually each time when the data gets modified and a lot of users find column table formatting extremely difficult to do. However, it comes in a public version, which is an open source version which is absolutely free and has almost all the features of the paid version. And the licensed version also has a free trial available for two weeks. Having said that, this software allows data mixing and real time collaboration. It doesn't force users to write custom code and all in all is one of the simplest business intelligence tools in the desktop system, which is why it tops our list of the top 10 data visualization tools of 2020. Data visualization is a huge field with many disciplines. It's precisely because of this interdisciplinary nature that the visualization field is full of vitality and opportunities. With that, I come to the end of my session. My name is Upasana. Thank you and have a great day.